as an all-told 19 fences coming to the first and it's uh, McVeady himself who leads McVeady from master spy Arctic Air took it in third and then came approaching third of the uh, 19 fences that they'll have to take and as we see them head on we see McVeady on the uh, left of the picture together with uh, over on his uh, left that's the far side as we see the mark to clear master spy very close up on the inside and now running to the next fence and this is the uh, second of the open ditches and here it's mac Vidi over in the lead master spy took it second then came mark to care sweet september now four and royal mail five then six towards the outside is Jumpson and seven approaching eight now farther to laney and the last two, nine and ten, are Tommy Joe, and finally Mastership. This is a plain fence. McVeady still jumping in the lead from Master Spy. Then after a length and a half comes Arctic Air, remaining in third. Four is Sweet September. Then being held up at the moment, the favorite Royal Mail. And another plain fence already. And certainly some of these fences come pretty close together. Into the straight now. And coming to what, of course, will be the third last, but uh, not until they've completed another circuit. Here it's Master Spy and MacVeady still disputing the lead. They're followed by Arctic Air 3, approaching now 4. 5 is Royal Mail, then 6 jumps, and 7 is Tommy Joe. At the next, Master Spy touches down only just in front of MacVeady. Mastership, a bit of a mistake right at the back of the field. And now racing up to the ninth and uh, approaching halfway in this tote pattern chase. Into this next fence. And here, Master Spy and McVeady again, absolutely nothing between these two, followed by Arctic Air, Sweet September, Royal Mail approaching and Chumson. Then comes Father Delaney, not making much of a show at the moment, and the last two, Tommy Joe and Master Chip. Well, as they pass the post at the end of the first circuit, it's the old man himself, McVeady, disputing it with Master Spy. And as they approach the water jump, let's have a word or two from John Oxy. Well, what a marvellous uh, exhibition Mac Vitti is give, giving. And I must say that Master Spy is going pretty well behind him. But if you look back, you'll see approaching going remarkably well there. Approaching has been pulling Bob Davis's arms out. I don't know whether he'll get tired. And Royal Mail hasn't yet made his move. But as they start out on the last circuit, Mac Vitti, 15 years old or not, is by no means done with. And this is his sort of thing. And if he could just start out jumping Master Spy now, and for yes, well, he didn't meet that absolutely right, but uh, he has got a length head, but just look how well approaching is going there, and Royal Mail tucked in in fourth place, also going very well. Sweet September just off the bit. I think that's Father Delaney. I can't see um, just behind him. Chumpson then appears to be just possibly uh, in a little bit of trouble, but uh, still a great chance for Royal Mail, but the one my heart's going with anyway is in second place or upsides in front, Mac V. Back to you, Rawley. And while you were talking, John Mastership fell at the 11th, but he's unscathed. Meantime, they race on towards the next, which will be the 13th. We see them approaching it now, and it's still those two, Master Spy and McVeady, rising and landing together, and the better jump by McVeady there to go on again. McVeady in the lead, defying his 15 years. But Royal Mail is looming up closer all the time. He's now in third. Then for Sweet September, approaching his right there as well, and Father Delaney's getting into the race. What a battle up front, and they're all together. All that leading group. Chumpson isn't far behind them, but the rest, Tommy Joe and Arctic Air. In fact, they're the only other two. They now are some way behind. That was the uh, final open ditch, and now a plain fence. And over this plain fence, where Chumpson makes a mistake, it's approaching now, has come through to take up the running. Approaching has quickly gone on into the lead with uh, McVeady and Master Spy there, still second and third. McVeady, a little mistake that time. Father Delaney is running on well into four. Royal Mail's got quite a lot to do, and in fact is tiring. I think that Newbury form's going to be turned right over because Royal Mail is struggling now. And it's approaching now, who's gone on by some two lengths, approaching with McVeady running back into second. But for the north and a danger at this point is Father Delaney. He's disputing second now with McVeady. Then comes Master Spy, tiring now in fourth. Chumpson is running on. Uh, running quite a good national trial at that. Then comes Royal Mail and Sweet September. But in line for the last three fences now. Let's see who jumps this one the best. Approaching comes to it in front. Jumps it well. Father Delaney, though, full of running in second. Over on the far side. And still there in contention is Mac Vidi. Again, he gallops his heart out. Sweet September, just two to go now in the tote pattern chase. Approaching, joined by Father Delaney. And Father Delaney now going on on the near side. Father Delaney by just about half a length or so, a length now from approaching. Mac Vidi hanging on well in third on the far side. This Bill's just realised he has no more to give and very wisely eases him. Even so, he's still beaten Master Spy. 
Royal Mail and the rest out of sight. He might have won that if the trainer had done the job properly. Then comes Matt Beedy. Win in the end, an easy one for Father Delaney by several lengths, approaching a good run though in second. Macvidi over the line. There he is in 